Namaste beauties. It's Pam Ella here and I wanted to talk to you about passion and purpose. Um, I absolutely love and live to empower beautiful humans to get on track, to clear a path to their ultimate passion, purpose and desire to live a life of love and to really get in touch with the way that they deeply desire to feel. Um, my own story, I'm very open about my story and I guess in that openness is where people feel the resonance, the people that want to come and work with me because they, they know that I've been there and that I've experienced this stuff. So, you know, I haven't always lived in true alignment to my purpose and the years where I was not on path, um, as scary as being on path can be, were the hardest years of my life. Living in denial of my ultimate truth and my authentic expression of all that I am um, was the most devastating period and yet I had to go through that so I can teach others that they don't have to. Uh, there is a better way and it's really about coming home to how do you want to feel? How do you want to feel when you get up? Are you waking up in the morning and getting out of bed and going, oh, fuck, I really don't want to go to work. Oh my God, my life is shit. I hate what I do. I'm existing, I'm not living. I'm going to work from nine to five, working for somebody else, making them rich. And at the end of the day, I've had such a fucking horrible day that I come home and I can't wait to get the first state changer in my body. So whether that's a beer, whether that's to turn the TV on, whether that's to eat all the food, whether that's whatever that is, whatever that is for you, that means that you are not living in alignment to your divine mission, purpose, or you're not utilizing your gifts. People can work a nine to five job and still be totally living in alignment because when they're not at work, they are fulfilling their love cup. They're doing things that fill them up from the inside out. They are replenishing. They are inspired. They're getting to be creative. They're getting to be innovative. Like wisdom that we have innately that is not shared develops into dis-ease. It turns into cancer. It is our responsibility as these sacred beings that we are having this human existence, it's our duty to share that knowledge, that passion, that love, that inspiration, whatever is our gift, we have to share it. And we've got this one shot, this one crack, this one life. That's it. That's it. So that's what I do. It's a part of what I do. I do many things, but that is a huge love of mine is to work with people who are feeling lost, who, who can't get out of their own way. They might be semi on the track, but they've hit all these like roadblocks or, you know, they are their worst enemy, their own worst enemy. They're sabotaging it or they're just feeling the fear and they're unable to move forward. That's when they come to see me. And all I do is guide you through your own experience. You're the driver. You're the driver in every area of your life. But sometimes a fresh, a fresh perspective is exactly what the doctor ordered. I am the most massive advocate for coaches need coaches. I, I would not be anywhere near where I am today if it wasn't for the fact that I have surrounded myself with fucking masters. And you will outgrow them and you will find new ones. And the universe will continue to present you with the right person at the right time. They say when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Yeah? So find somebody that you resonate with. Join a group of like-minded humans, of individuals that have got what you want or who are on the same wavelength. When we surround ourselves with eagles, we fly. And if we're surrounded by turkeys, we're on the ground gobbling and scratching for scraps. That's it. So who do you want to be? An eagle or a turkey? 
And I'm not saying this to make you upset. I'm saying it to make you think. I'm saying it so you can start to evaluate and reflect on every area of your life. Life is like a table. It's got kind of four major legs. You've got your physical well-being, you've got your work life, your home relationship life, and you've got your interpersonal life, the way that you feel about yourself, your mental stability, all of that stuff. And if one of those legs is wonky or not feeling really solid, the whole table is going to be affected. Now imagine if two or three of those legs are wonky or in some cases non-existent. You don't really have a leg to stand on, pardon the pun. So what are you going to do about it? How would you like to clear a pathway that was so pristine that you had so much clarity and they say that knowledge is power, clarity is so much power. How would you like to feel so clear that the courage necessary to take the next step just came naturally because it's little incremental steps that you can take that feel so in alignment and attunement and when you are in that full groove of being on purpose, of being inspired as opposed to motivated, motivation's shit. That's shit fun. That's like whipping yourself every day or dangling a carrot. Inspiration is I'm jumping out of bed. I cannot wait to to do the next thing. I, I cannot wait to write that next post or share my knowledge or my passion with the world or pick up that phone, make that sale, whatever it is. Whatever it is, to write the next page of that novel, to go on that trip that I've been promising myself, whatever inspiration is to you, let's tap into it. When we are on that track, the universe opens doors and we flow. We just flow with more ease and more grace. We attract more abundance. We end up at the right place at the right time. New opportunities can open when we get out of our own way. Yeah. Clarity is power. I am so clear on that. I can't wait to journey with you. Namaste. Is your journey.